everybody so you want to become better riders right so we're going to show you exactly what we've done to become better riders we might not be the best riders but we got a few tips we're going to bring to you right after this so stick around hi everybody welcome to boosted jeans riders i'm kate and i'm rich so, like I said, we're going to dive right into this, how you can become better riders. Everything that we're going to tell you is things that we implement in our daily life. This first point or tip, if you want to call it, is what you're going to hear from everybody, especially if you are new to riding or if you've been off the bike for a while and you're trying to get back into riding. And it's a simple, easy one that everybody will tell you, it's go take a mold to cycle safety course. That was hard to get out. <laughs> I'd say that, you struggled with that minute, but. <laughs> Go take a motorcycle safety course. In a motorcycle safety course, your instructor or coach should be telling you that you're not gonna be the best rider after this, you're just gonna be a safe rider. And in a motorcycle safety course, is it the excellent way to get started? Yes, anybody could teach you, but People that's teaching you may miss out on something. At least the motorcycle safety coaches have a step-by-step -step guide. And when they go about those guides step-by-step-by-step, by step by step, reading it word for word, you might think, well, they're not professional. Why do they got to read it word for word? They're reading it word for word because they are professionals. So if you're new to motorcycling or haven't been in them for a while, go take a safety course. Now, if you've been riding for a while and want to get better, do what we've done. Take more courses. There's intermediate courses advanced courses you can take and specialty courses you can take like track days and learning how to lean and learning how to ride curves better a lot of things you can purchase a lot of people selling books and dvds and thumb drives online purchase those also but just watching it on, on youtube it's not gonna do you any good you gotta purchase get out there and, and do. do it so and there are a lot of police departments or state agencies that are giving courses to civilians to learn how to ride a lot better. And it's practically free. Or right. I know some of them that are free. Not here in California, but <laughs> some, <laughs> some of them are free. Well, we gonna find a free course. So I, I wish we could, but you know, I had some extra training. Anyway, that's the first thing I'm gonna run by you right now. And I'll we'll take the courses up. You will become a much better rider. And when, when you get to be a better rider, it is so much fun out there riding when you know what you're doing. Okay, go ahead. All done? I'm done. All right. Tip two. After you take the motorcycle course. Yeah, the motorcycle course. <laughs> Talking about me. Practice. Right. Practice. Practice. Just go out there in the empty parking lot and practice. But what you practice is what you learn in the course. Two things. Most important things to learn to practice is emergency braking. Because yes. you want to be able to stop that bike on a dime. So emergency braking mm -hmm. and braking escape or braking swerve or obstacle avoidance, whatever it is. It is something that's in your path on the road where you need to either stop before you get to it and go around it. Or come to a complete stop, which will make it an emergency break. Braking. What's in that cup? Don't worry about what's in my cup. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but that's that's... Two of them. And Rich and I, we out there in the parking lot at least two to three days a week. From between five minutes to about depends three hours. Depends on what we're doing. Sometimes we get carried away because we're having so much fun in the parking That's lot. Key. Practicing. And ride daily. Yeah, that was going to be my last thing. Yeah. You, you actually oh, said, I just took roll it right into it. If Oops. You ride daily. <laughs> You're going to get better if you ride daily. But the first thing, like she said, is get in that parking lot and practice. Once you learn those courses, it's not over. Don't try to put that stuff on the okay. street and fool around and hurt yourself, get into danger, trying to do things that's beyond your control because you didn't practice. And as I said before, we implement these things in our lives. We try to get at least one a week. Practice builds confidence. Yes, definitely. When you have that confidence, you able to do whatever it is you want to do on that motorcycle because you have that confidence about it. I went from riding a 750, my confidence builds up so high to now I ride a Goldwing F6V 1800. 
from a 750 to an 1800. Right. 750 shadow, Honda shadow, as a matter of fact. Yeah. So, so, so that's that's a couple of things that we want to bring to you. And for like I said, we put this in our daily life. We we take long lips. trips. You know, we take super long <laughs> motorcycle lips. trips, and we just love being out there on the road. If it's a passion and a desire for you to ride those motorcycles, you can do exactly what we're doing and become a better biker. And the better you get, the more fun you would definitely have. No doubt in our mind, guarantee. You start doing some of these things, you will have a lot of fun. For instance, for instance, our daughter, um, Nikisha, we, we came from back on uh, a long road trip, and she said- An 84 day trip. <laughs> she said, give me the keys, give me the keys. Yeah. Like, why you want our keys? Yeah. You want to go ride? She said, no, you guys always are gone, and I want to I want to go also. So we told her, hey, if you take a safety course up, you can get cake bike. Yeah, mommy old bike. Because she had already had, bought, purchased the- Yeah, the, the gold wing. Yes, and so our daughter took up a course, and we put the exact same things you telling you we are telling you implemented in her riding. She took the course up. We took her to the parking lot and went through a lot of parking lot drills. What would happen is Cake would ride the shadow to the parking lot. Our daughter would drive her car and meet us there. And then she would get on the bike. We'd put her through parking lot drills over and over and over again. And I told her, everything that you learn in the safety course, remember that. We're going to go over some of those things and then some more higher level things. And her confidence started building up quickly and quickly and yeah. quickly. Next thing you know, she was on a ride with us for breakfast, which was about 70, 80 miles. And she just was riding around a place she'd never done a long ride before. And the next thing you know, she went with us to... San Diego. San Diego, California. Wound up being an 800-mile trip. And now she's riding daily with confidence of a rider. And she's still going to the parking lot. If you're off the bike for a while, you definitely want to get back to practice because there are perishable skills yeah. that you need to go over and, and over and over again so we have a friend what friend we ain't no friends you, okay well <laughs> we have a friend had a friend somebody. but we have a friend something good in that cup had a friend that ride a two wheel he was riding two wheels a gold wing and he would come home from work get off from work and him him and a few friends will go to an empty parking lot a school parking lot. So the school was closed because it's after 5 o'clock. What are you talking about? The school was closed. He rides a Can-Am now. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So he rode in. He, then him and his friends would go in the parking lot and practice, 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 mm -hmm. and prepare themselves to go on long trips. But they would get in that parking lot and practice. Get and, those skills up. Yeah. And they became so, exceptionally good riders, too. I mean, he rides a Can-Am now, so he's actually good on that Can-Am, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> When he, yeah. when he went with us on a, a, there's a, there's a highway here in California, Highway 36, where it's 140 miles of twisties. And the guy rides that can am just as good as anybody that rides two wheels. And it, it just took practice. Build his confidence up, and he continued to move. Mm -hmm. and, and we know that you want to be better riders. You have that passion. You have that desire. And what Craig Hangsworth said. Yeah, Craig Hangsworth. Check his channel out. He asked, are you obsessed with riding motorcycles? And our answer is simple. Yep. Yes, we are. But not only being obsessed with it, we want to be the best we can be. So that help us. The thing that we talk about, there's a lot of things you can do to get better. But the thing mm -hmm. that you do, you take a course up, take many courses up. You go and park a lot of practice and you ride daily, every single day if you can. Those three things, you'll become a better rider, much more fun. When you take those long trips, you'll be having more fun, more confidence on roads that you've never seen before. Right. I, I'm getting excited now. Yeah, Let me yeah. calm down. <laughs> And so, but, you become a better rider. But right. even if you can't ride it daily, sit mm -hmm. on it every day. Just sit on your bike <laughs> and get that feel for that bike because that's your bike. It's a part of you now. Right, right. Especially it's you guys who you. have harsh so, winters. You know, you guys, it's, it's a perishable skill and you get out there and jump back on that bike and want to ride. You know, sometimes you might just want to go on and sit on that bike and like you said, it becomes a and part of you. sit on it. It becomes it a part of you. It's just a part of me. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I have for now. I just want to bring you a short video. If you want to become a better rider, do some of those things. Implement them in your life daily, at least one a day if you can. That's all I have for now. You have anything? I don't have anything else. So remember, uh -huh. if you like this video, go and give us a thumbs up. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Give us a thumbs up. So if you're out there riding now, just remember one thing. Ride long. Ride hard. Ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Bush and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. I'm Cake. And we out.
Peace. You know what you gotta do. <laughs> I turn the camera off this time. You know what you have to do. Well, guess it's gonna be longer than what we want it to be. <laughs>